Tammy Sue Jones, age 32, gunned down October 18th in Sophia, West Virginia, by someone she knew in her apartment. Stop the gun violence. Stop the unnecessary killing of women or anyone. God bless Tammy Sue Jones and God bless her family. Damn. Police say the call came in just after four Wednesday morning. That call reported that a shooting had occurred inside an apartment complex on Virginia Street in Sophia. While on the scene, law enforcement discovered that a woman had been shot and had already succumbed to those injuries. Raleigh County Sheriff Jim Canaday gave a look into where his office is at in the ongoing investigation. The parties knew each other. Uh, there were other witnesses that were present at the time that, that this had happened. So that's who we're in. Uh, we're trying to interview is everybody that was there. And then there's some people on the periphery, periphery that we're trying to interview. Mm -hmm. Uh, and try to get some background information as well. Well, the crime scene unit was on site collecting evidence. A resident who lives in the apartment building arrived home. She didn't wish to provide her full name, but wanted to share her reaction to the shooting. I, I've heard a lot of noises. I've had to call the cops quite a few times just because people banging on our windows or they've been, you know, running around acting crazy. But I really didn't think it would come to this. Brianna says she has lived in the apartment for a little over a year, but has recently been in the process of moving. She adds that Wednesday's shooting confirmed she's made the right choice. I'll definitely be glad that I'm uh, moving. Um, I will certainly be happy and it'll make me feel safer. Still, Brianna says she is concerned for the safety of those in the area. I worry about the other kids in the community as well as the welfare of others and stuff. Um, you know, my neighbors and, you know, people that it, it could affect around here. Um, I worry about them and I hope that they all stay safe and keep their doors locked. At the time of our interview with Sheriff Canada, he stated that no arrests have been made in connection to the shooting. Learn from others. See what happened to others that do gun violence. Stop the gun violence. God bless the victim. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.